On this episode of Hackbyte, we're going to explore some defensive Wi-Fi security techniques and see how tools like Aircrack NG can be used to detect and prevent malicious Wi-Fi activity, like Karma attacks on a Wi-Fi pineapple. Last week, we talked about how Karma attacks can be used to trick Wi-Fi devices into connecting to a malicious access point. These attacks work by spoofing the names of open Wi-Fi networks your devices joined before, kicking you off the network you're currently connected to, and waiting for your device to automatically connect to the malicious access point instead, since it looks like a previously trusted Wi-Fi network. Pen testing devices like the Wi-Fi Pineapple by Hack5 make it extremely easy to run and automate these types of attacks. And if you want to try out this technique yourself, you can check out my previous video for more information on how to do that, as well as an explanation on some of the limitations to this technique. However, since some of you guys have been requesting to see more defensive security techniques and blue team content, I figured it'd be a good idea to show you how we can use simple tools like Aircrack and Python in order to defend against Wi-Fi attacks like Karma. In order to do so, we're going to use Wi-Fi reconnaissance to basically profile devices that are emulating multiple Wi-Fi networks using the same hardware address and send out deauthentication packets that prevent potential victims from connecting to this malicious access point. To follow along with this video, all you're going to need is a computer that's running Linux and also a Wi-Fi dongle that's capable of monitor mode and packet injection. To follow along with this demonstration, you can head over to my GitHub page at github.com slash alexlin slash Wi-Fi pineapple detector. So this is a fork of the Pi Savar project by WiPi Hunter, which should allow us to detect the presence of Wi-Fi pineapples by looking for activity from the Pine AP module and preemptively running a deauthentication attack that allows us to just prevent victim devices from connecting to malicious access points. So in order to get started with this tool, all you have to do is just copy my repository address, open up a Linux terminal and run git clone followed by the address. And as you can see, it starts downloading and I can just go ahead and navigate over to the directory at Wi-Fi pineapple detector and we can get started. So some features of the Pi Savar project, as I mentioned before, the ability to profile Pine AP activities based off the attack flow that's shown up here, and then also automating a deauthentication attack against what's determined to be a malicious access point. So the way this attack usually works is the attacker will connect to their Wi-Fi pineapple, spin up the Pine AP module, and then uses to gather reconnaissance on nearby Wi-Fi devices to see what networks they're trying to connect to. So typically Wi-Fi devices like your phone, your laptop, or any other Wi-Fi enabled thing will emit a type of Wi-Fi packet called a probe request, which announces the names of networks it's seen before in order to determine if they're nearby. So the Pine AP module will take advantage of these probe requests by gathering the names of these networks that your devices are looking for, putting them inside of an SSID pool, and then broadcasting these out in the open in order to entice these Wi-Fi devices into connecting to a network that it looks like it's trusted before. So the way Pi Savar works is it's able to profile a single device like the Wi-Fi Pineapple that's trying to emit multiple Wi-Fi networks from a single hardware address, and then it can use um, some Wi-Fi reconnaissance tools like Aircrack NG in order to automatically start a deauthentication attack against these malicious access points. So to get started, we're going to go ahead and install some dependencies that we're going to need to work with this tool, such as Aircrack and then also Python. So I'm going to go ahead and run sudo apt install aircrack-ng, and then we're also going to install Python too. So after we've installed Aircrack, we're ready to get started with gathering Wi-Fi reconnaissance. And now that we have Python installed, we can also run this tool. But you're also going to need to install a couple dependencies in order to run the Pi Savar project. But since it's running Python 2, which is an archaic version of Python, there is a little bit of nuance to installing the proper packages you'll need in order to get started. Like for example, term color, scapey, argparse, and a few others. So if you want full documentation on how to install these libraries, and if you also want to find an updated version of the Pi Savar project, which I implemented a bug fix for, then you can just go ahead and check all of that out on my GitHub repository, which I'll link in the description below. So the first thing we'll do after installing these tools is we're going to go ahead and put our wireless card into monitor mode. So this should allow us to start gathering reconnaissance on nearby Wi-Fi devices and allow us to basically profile the Pine AP activity. So we can do this by first running sudo airmon-ng, and this will list the Wi-Fi cards that are currently connected to our computer. 
So as you can see here, I have my internal wireless card, and then I also have the second card here, which is my external Wi-Fi dongle that supports both monitor mode and packet injection. So we're gonna go ahead and put this into monitor mode by copying the address of this interface device. And then we're gonna run sudo airmon-ng start and then the interface name. So after doing this, we can go ahead and run sudo aerodump-ng followed by the name of our new interface, which we can actually list by running sudo airmon-ng a second time. And then as you can see here, it lists that our interface has been renamed to WLAN0MON, indicating that it's been placed in monitor mode. So I can just run sudo aero dump dash ng WLAN0MON. And then as you can see, it starts channel hopping and allows us to gather reconnaissance on nearby Wi-Fi devices. So we have a list of different networks that are available in the area up here, as well as their MAC addresses. And then we can also see station devices like clients that are connected to these networks. Now, while it's possible to profile the presence of Wi-Fi pineapples manually by using a tool like AeroDump and then taking the MAC address of a device that's identified to be a malicious access point and using another tool in the aircraft suite like AirPlay in order to automatically deauthenticate it, the PySavar project allows us to automate this process and does all of this detection for us. So now that we're gathering reconnaissance on our Wi-Fi dongle, the next thing we're gonna do is just open up a new tab under the same Wi-Fi pineapple directory by doing control shift T and then running sudo python pysavar.py. So this should actually list the available arguments that we're gonna need to use with this program in order to automate this attack flow. So as you can see, we'll need to specify the interface that we want to use for gathering reconnaissance, and then also the attack method that we want to use with pi savar. So I'm going to go ahead and run the previous command again, but this time we're going to specify the attack method, which as you can find in the documentation, can be set either to active or passive, and we're going to specify the active um, pi savar method by doing dash pm2, which should enable the authentication. And then we're gonna specify the interface by doing dash i, and then plugging in our Wi-Fi card, which should be WLAN 0 mon. So this should start the Pi Savar scanner. And as you can see from the attack flow here, the way that this is going to profile Pine AP activity is it's first gonna sniff with channel hopping. So basically using the AeroDump NG module to change between all the different Wi-Fi frequencies and look for activity on all these channels. Then it's gonna gather all the beacon packets that are being emitted to save the SSID and MAC information, and then use Python to automate um, scanning through this data to profile for Wi-Fi pineapples by looking for a single MAC address that's emitting multiple networks. And then if this is detected, then it's gonna use this information to determine which MAC address it needs to run a deauthentication attack against. So the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and set up my Wi-Fi pineapple to see if this project can actually detect it. Now, if I switch over to the AeroDump NG view, you can see that we have a list of nearby Wi-Fi networks and devices in the area. And sure enough, we're able to see a single MAC address here that's going crazy broadcasting all these different Wi-Fi network names, which are the same ones that I have saved under the pool here. And we can also attribute this to a single MAC address, which means it's pretty easy to profile that this device here is a malicious access point. Now, it also should be pretty easy for PySavar to be able to detect this. And if we switch over to that view, you can see that sure enough, the Pine AP module has been detected and PySavar has started an attack against the MAC address at 001337, which is also the same static MAC that we can see under the Pine AP settings. Now, I'm just gonna go a step further by confirming whether or not it's actually sending out these deauthentication packets. And you don't have to do this, but I'm gonna go ahead and fire up Wireshark. And we're gonna use this to see if it's actually sending out deauthentication packets. So I'm gonna select the WLAN0MON interface, which is our wireless card. And the first thing we're gonna do is apply a filter for deauthentication packets. So if I go ahead and click on this packet here and see the source address that it's coming from, we can confirm that it's 001337, which is the address of the Wi-Fi pineapple, meaning that PySavar is actually spoofing this deauthentication packet that tells victim devices to disconnect from the rogue access point. As you saw, it's fairly simple to profile rogue access points that are running these Karma attacks, since you'll typically see a single Wi-Fi device that's trying to emulate multiple Wi-Fi networks. However, if the attacker spoofs a new MAC address for every network that's created, it becomes a little bit harder to use a static detection technique like the one we covered today. 
However, it's still theoretically possible to profile these attacks by looking for how often certain network names appear for, since a rogue access point will have to switch back and forth between different network names. Or you can even detect if the same network appears twice, but under different MAC addresses. Another thing you could do is probably emulate probe requests for ridiculous Wi-Fi network names and see if the pineapple responds by creating a fake network for something that's unlikely and pretty ludicrous. These are mostly just musings, but if you guys want to see any of these techniques covered in upcoming episodes, or if you want to see more defensive security content covered on this channel, feel free to let me know in the comments below, or you can also tune in to our weekly Q&A sessions on Wednesday on the Hack5 channel, where we'll answer your questions live. You can find me on Twitter at Alex Lynn to see what I'm up to for the week, and you can also follow my project on Twitter at Wi-Fi underscore Nugget to see the latest news and updates for this project. And if you want to help support the show, you can always check out wifi nugget.com to pick one up yourself. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Hack5. Thanks for supporting Hack5. Find all our shows, community, and pen test products at hack5.org.